Hello and welcome to this course on Cloudera Hadoop Administration. My name is Sajish and this video I will show you how to provision a virtual machine in Azure. So I'm going to do a single node installation. For that I'm first provisioning a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure Cloud. So first open a browser then log into this Azure portal by hitting portal.azure.com so once prompted type your username so if you have not registered this so please go ahead and register so this need your credit card information so you need to uh, fill those information and register in Azure so once prompted type your password and you will get an Azure console page like this and yes I want to keep this sign for a long time okay from here so you, we have option uh, the first thing I'm going to create is creating a resource group which is nothing but a logical uh, separation of resources that I'm going to provision and I'm going to create a resource group so the resource group is not a chargeable option but it is something like we can separate the resources that you are creating so cloudera iphone single so this is the name and subscription i have only one subscription and uh, the location you can choose the location wherever uh, you want to do that so there are a lot of locations available i am selecting south india so this is the data center location and your uh, resource group or uh, whatever the resources you are provisioning maybe on this location so you choose the location which is near to your area so this is done okay you can see that uh, cloudera single as a resource group the next thing i am going to create is a, a virtual network then create that then create a virtual network then so I am cloudera vnet so this is the name which I am uh, and what is the IP address range so here you have to use uh, CIDR IP range so 10.0.0.0 16 okay so this much IP address I have then the subscription and resource group the location by default and subnet within this vnet what is the subnet I need so I can use the cloudera snet or subnet and uh, so I need a subs subset of this IP range here okay so here also 10.0.0.0 0 bar 24 okay so I will get 256 but actually I need no need of this one but I'm having only one machine on this vnet but I can add attach another VMs also here and the remaining things are okay just create So once that is done we will go ahead and create this virtual machine hit this virtual machine and then add i can create from here or from here so create virtual machine then choose the subscription and resource group and the virtual machine cloudera vm and uh, the location and uh, what is the image type you are going to choose so i am selecting rhl or red hat or centos 7.5 i need centos 7.5 only so if you choose rhl also the same operating system characteristics might be same but i don't want to spend on the licensing part so i am choosing centos and for us to do the testing centos is more than enough so what is the type of vm so i'm just changing the type and here you can see 
uh, how much you need to pay for this uh, and what is the charge per monthly charge etc so i need uh, something like a uh, uh, high 16 gig okay so 11000 rupees per month but i'm i'm not using for a month so i'll be using only few hours here okay so for me that is okay Uh, then uh, you have two options the key based or password based but i recommend you to choose the key based because so that will give you better security but username password based uh, it's not much secure so i'm just using hd user but if you are doing for a testing purpose this is okay then so type the password So I have uh, retyped the password then the port what are the port I need to open so you can choose whatever the port you want to open so uh, if you want SSH port to be open so later we can configure these uh, rules okay and uh, the disk part so you can have like what is the type of the disk you want so you can choose the standard SSD and if you need additional disk you can add that also and networking also uh, you can choose what is the vnet what is the subnet you want to use so do you want to use the public ip or not so you can choose those information and network security group here you can have that information or else you can choose the basic one and then management so I'm not using, uh, I mean, I'm using this one as default, then guest configuration, I'm not doing anything. So this will allow us to add extension and all, I don't want to use that. Then the tag, basically, I'm just using owner, its name is okay, and review and create. it's around 15 rupees per hour then create so validation has passed and now we are creating this virtual machine so that's it our deploy deployment has completed now uh, you can see uh, this virtual machine has created and uh, you can use this public IP address and copy that public IP address and make sure you are able to connect. So once prompted, use the name as HD user and use the password that you have given at the time of installation that's it i'm able to uh, log in here and also this user is with sudo privilege okay so i'm able to switch to root also so that's it we have provisioned or uh, deployed uh, this virtual machine in uh, azure and uh, so this is the resource group we have created and uh, we have created vnet and subnet and created the vm so now you can see on the behind the scene there are some other services and components also created so once you have done your testing you can delete entire resource group so that whatever the resources you have created will go also if you want to turn it off the machine if you are not using you can turn off the machine so that you won't have that much bill so you can stop it from here or if you want to delete the virtual machine alone you can do that so that's it about deploying 
so we'll see in the next video thank you bye